Hey students, Armando here, and are you troubled for finding good peer-reviewed articles outside of the GCU library because you need maybe one or two more solid references for any paper that you write? Well, you're in luck. I found a little hack on Google that will take you directly to already peer-reviewed articles and journals that you can officially use on any paper or assignment in which you need solid reference material. I'm going to show you that hack in today's video. So pay attention so that you can do the exact same thing. Okay, so once you land on Google, so that obviously is the first step to go to google.com or your Google app, you want to go ahead and go here to this search bar. And for example, let's write the word Islam as if we were going to do uh, some research or needed some research on this particular topic. And then here's the magic. In quotation marks, you are going to write in peer reviewed. You're going to close it with quotation marks and you're going to click the enter button. Now, as you do that, I want you to pay attention to what you see over here in this section, right? Scholarly articles for Islam, peer reviewed. Here's the first one. So if you go right here by Riley cited, you can go here and you can begin to get more information right with the very first link. And here you go. Here is the abstract, methods, results. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of examples, so I'm not going to dive deep into the article, but this just took you to something that is peer-reviewed, and you can see right here in that section right here, like how cool is that? Let's go to the next one, right? Islamic Studies, open access peer-reviewed journals. So again, look at the date, June of this year, open access peer-reviewed journals. Here's another one, biannual, double-blind, peer-reviewed, and interdisciplinary journal published by these particular folks. So you can see here that this leads you directly to Islam and peer-reviewed journal articles. So all the keywords are coming out for all these articles. So let's go back up here to the top. Let's get rid of Islam, and let's just type the word leadership. In here, but we're going to keep that peer review in the back, and then we're going to go ahead and click on uh, enter. So again, now we're going to uh, different organizations and different journal articles that are going to be peer reviewed. Let's take a look at this first one: the role of leadership in a digitalized world. A review regarding the peer reviewed articles in our database. So let's click on that, and you can see here that you have all the information to be able to find various articles that now we know are peer-reviewed. You have resource information here. You have content information here that, again, you can summarize and use in your own words, but it's already taking you to articles and journals that have been cleared through peer review. Let's go back. Let's take a look at one more, how effective leadership can facilitate change. Let's click on this one. And again, you're receiving more information, right, that can lead you directly to resource information, source information, uh, content information, and these have already been vetted as peer-reviewed articles. So like anything else, if you go down to the bottom here, right, you can begin to see here is a list of the references. What an amazing tool to be able to go now and do your research just on these references, take a few of these references, or use them as part of your research, but again, incorporate the article the journal that you just found through this simple hack in using a keyword and in quotation marks, the term peer reviewed. Okay, awesome. So I hope you enjoyed that little Google hack. Shh, don't tell anyone. If you had not come across this yet, I'm glad you did now because this is going to save you a lot of time when researching. Because again, if you're going to write solid academic papers, you want to make sure they come from vetted and solid journal locations. And also the more peer-reviewed information you have, the solid your research is going to be. And again, if you can't find something inside of the GCU library, or if you're not attending GCU and you're watching this video in your own school's library, well, here's a simple hack, 
through Google that we all have access to that can land you directly on peer-reviewed journals and articles that you can use for your research. Again, thank you. If you got some value on this video, you can help me out by just going down below and clicking that like button. And again, share these types of videos with your peers, with your colleagues who are in school, whether they're you know first timers in school or they've been in school for a while, because this might save them some time as well. Okay, this is Professor Sotero. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next educational video.